Good day friends, it is me HL Mod Tech, and I'm back with another Tinkercad tutorial, so let's get cracking. Friends, today's design was requested by one of my viewers, Brian Ask for a B, so let's see what we can do. First step, of course, is to hit new 3D design. Let's start by naming it. All you do is backspace and type it. I'm gonna put B and I'm gonna put my initials. So friends, I like to always start by building off an image. You can see here that we've got a tail, we've got a middle and we've got a head, we've got six legs, we've got wings. That's gonna be my goal. We're gonna make the tail section with an amazing part called the O-Give. Type O-Give in search and we wanna pick the skinny one. Make sure you look at it from a corner and when you rotate, if you stay inside the blue circle or close to the shape, it snaps 22 and a half degrees at a time. If you come outside, it goes one degree at a time. It is so much easier. If you stay in the middle, you could also just type negative 90 in the box. We're gonna hit D to drop, and then we need to attach a piece right here. We're gonna do that with the work plane. W is the shortcut. You can bring it out just like that grab the half circle. I'm going to put the work plane back on the ground, select them both, choose a line, pick the green one as the middle, choose middle, and also choose middle. Do not click these because that will mess it up. Group those two parts and the rear of the B is created. We are going to make the body section of the B with a sphere. Notice you can keep it the same size. We're going to make the head with another sphere. Let's bring that out and we'll stretch it just a little bit. Notice I made it 26 for the head. We're gonna make these the fancy yellow right now. I want you to select the two of them and I want you to do group. We're gonna make them one piece. I want you to make them a hole. We're gonna use a cool inverse hole trick. Start by bringing out a cube and I want you to make it 80 long. Move it back so you can see that those two are going to be together. Change the height to 22 and change the width to 30. Now that we've got this size 80 by 30, let's grab those two pieces. Notice it says two shapes. And we want to align them to the center and to the center and to the bottom. At that point, you can group it. And if you turn it into the hole that we need, you can see that is gonna cut out the body and we're gonna make it awesome colors using a gradient. To do the gradient, switch to a five millimeter nudge, bring out a cube. We're gonna take that cube and we're gonna make it 22. We are gonna make it five. This is why we did the five millimeter nudge. And then up here, I need you to make it 21. Let's align these to the front of each other. So I'm gonna click on this and say, it's the boss. And then I wanna make this one yellow and I wanna do control D and I just wanna nudge it back one chunk. Turn it to black. You could use this black. I'm gonna go custom cause I wanna be more black. And then I'm gonna take these two, notice they're 10 millimeters. And if we do control D and we do back arrow one, two, we've got the next section. So there's 20 millimeters. Control D gives us 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. Now the reason we care about that is because it's gonna match our bug. Now we're gonna get rid of one of the sections so it's really only 75. And then we need to take that and do Control G or group right here. Now we do want it to be multicolor. And then friends, we can simply grab the two parts and click a line and we wanna go middle and we wanna be at the bottom, which we already were. Friends, at this point, if you do group, your awesome B has the multicolors. Now, if you didn't have multicolor on, you can turn that on right there. But oh my gosh, how quick and how fun was that? Now let's grab our two shapes and let's do a line. I want them all to be the center. I'm gonna switch back to my one millimeter nudge and move this back. You get to choose what color you want the head of your B to be. I'm gonna go with that black. I do need to make sure that's connected. And then I'm gonna do control up to raise the body up a couple chunks. You can grab the entire thing and do control shift up. So that way we can put the legs on it eventually. Really quickly, I am gonna add eyes. You could type I in the basic shapes. 
I am going to go to my creations and I'm going to type I because I made these using code blocks. I've got the frog eye, which is cute, but I'm just going to use this basic eye. When you bring it out, I'm going to lift the handle up to where I think it should be, move it to the left, do shift shrink with it back to one millimeter to get it to the exact size that fits. When I get it in place, I'm going to rotate it a couple degrees, whatever you think looks cool. And then I'm going to do control D and move it to the other side with the arrow keys and then use flip. So it's looking the other way. Instant cute eyeballs. You can have as much fun with those as you want. You could also make them from scratch. They're just two spheres grouped together. Real quickly, let's add a scribble mouth. One of my favorite ways to do this is back on basic shapes. I'm going to bring out a cube because we want this to be flat. And that lets me put the work plane right there. I'm going to make a scribble mouth and I'm just going to make a cute little derpy one with a tongue coming out adding it with scribble hitting done and notice now it is aimed the correct way to use with rb if i put the work plane down i can just nudge it into place with those arrow keys control up to raise it up and when i've got it right where i want then i can make it the color i want let's go with a bright red i'm gonna go back to presets i think that looks pretty darn awesome don't forget you can keep nudging and finalizing as you get it exactly the way you want. I'm going to reuse that cube for my scribble legs. Once again, put the work plane on the spot where you want to put the leg. I'm going to bring it out and friends, I'm going to draw a leg like this. It's got a chunk here, a chunk coming down, and then the little foot. You can make them super fancy. I'm going to call that Groovy. I'm going to put the work plane back down on the ground so that way I can squish it into the right size. I want those to be black. I am going to go to that custom black again so it's as black as can be. Move this off for later. Nudge that leg into place. If you look at it from an angle, you can see it is not long enough, but all I got to do is stretch it. And then I'm going to hit D to drop so it touches the ground. Control D and then do shift nudge to move it back. I want one more in the middle. So I'm gonna click on that first one, do control D and move it right there and in. I'm gonna grab all three of those legs and do control D, shift nudge to the other side. And then I can take those three and flip them just like that. And then nudge them into the perfect location. How awesome is that? Let's put this cube to work one more time. I want to make a nose, but I want the nose to poke out. So this time I'm going to put the work plane over here and once again make a scribble nose. I just want it to come out like that. When you're happy with what you made, you can simply hit done. If you don't like it, you can clear and try, try again. Let's put the work plane back on the ground. I'm going to squish this so it's skinny. I'm going to pick the color that I want for my little bee's nose. You can pick any colors you think are awesome. And then I can just drag it over into place. Let's do F for fit view. Zoom back a little bit. And then just nudge it in there until you are totally happy. Squeeze it back a little bit. Shrink it. Have fun. Adjust it until you think it's absolutely awesome. Rotate it anything you want. <laughs> at this point friends I'm gonna delete this cube because I don't think I'm gonna use it anymore I am gonna use scribble again though to make wings I am gonna use this awesome tool to just start from a corner wrap around and notice I'm just following it back like that bingo instant wing I'm gonna make it super skinny and then I'm gonna do control D now the reason I made two of them is this one is going to be the little veins inside the wing. Watch this. If I go back in here and I use my eraser tool, I'm going to erase some of the chunks. These will become the little veins because they'll be left over. And I'm trying to do the opposite of veins so that it looks really cool. You can experiment with this as much as you want. I'm going to hit done and now these will be the exact same size so watch this if I do a line I can choose middle 
and middle so they line up I'm gonna switch my colors real quick so making sure I've got the large one I'm gonna make it a gray and I'm gonna do that under presets I'm also gonna press T to make it transparent now I'm gonna click on the other one when I can find it so I'm gonna hide so I can grab it and I'm gonna make it a gray and I'm not gonna have it transparent so when I show them it actually looks like a B wing how fun is that now you can't group those because you'll lose the transparency but I'm just gonna move them at the same time so I'm gonna do my control nudge to move it over I'm gonna do control D to make a second set and I'm gonna nudge it to the other side now I can click on this one and do control up you can do control shift up to make it faster and then I'm gonna rotate it and I'm gonna to stick to one of these nudges where it's the same on both sides so there's 22 and a half degrees on that side I'm gonna select this one and I'm gonna flip it and then I'm gonna do shift nudge to move it over control shift nudge to move it up rotate it the 22 and a half degrees and then nudge it into exact place making sure that they are connected right now i'm going to grab all four so i held down shift to select them and i'm going to move them right up there and get them in place if you want double wings with them all selected i'll show you this again there i grabbed two now i'm going to hold down shift and i grabbed the other two let's do control d and just nudge the second set of wings back there it is so easy and they look pretty darn awesome friends remember there's so much room for you to have fun with these you can add cool things like if you go under creatures and characters you can find glasses hats anything you want to make your bee look absolutely awesome don't forget if you hold down shift it squishes the same amount in every direction you can push pull nudge align create custom items to make your bee the coolest ever now friends if you are ever proud of what you created don't forget you can share it with me so easily click this button right here generate a link copy that link and then you can reach out and share it with me i am hl mod tech on facebook instagram gmail and tiktok you can also find me on twitter i am hl tinkercad if those options don't work for you don't forget you can also visit my website hlmodtech.com right down here you'll find the sweet built-in message tool you can click that button add your question comment or share link and reach me almost instantly friends it is also a total blast to show your design to the world if you choose to do that i recommend shutting off the grid that way you've got a better view of just your bee and then return to the tinkercad main page click on your design properties make sure you give it a cooler name i'm going to change mine to b with tutorial fill in some description about it maybe even mention that you followed my tutorial give it some tags of course mine is going to be a tutorial and it's going to be a b and then down here make it public now friends since i always have a tutorial i recommend choosing attribution no derivatives because we want people to follow the tutorial so they learn all the cool skills friends once you have done that if you check back to the gallery first you'll see this current staff picks so many awesome creations but also friends if you switch to recent after a little bit your cool project will show up in recent now friends while you're here don't forget it is always cool to click out here and give users a reaction these bunnies are absolutely adorable so i'm gonna give them a wow after you've made some designs public you'll start seeing that you also get notifications because people like your awesome projects when they do like your projects like donut king and alfonso have here i always like to right click open a new tab and give them reactions because they were so cool and checked out my designs i always like to sort by recent so i can see their cool creations alfonso this is awesome and i'm giving you an awesome donut king this is wicked cool too nice job Friends, as I wrap up, I hope you had a total blast, and I want to say thanks again to Brian. That was a fantastic project, and I appreciate this suggestion. Friends, of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. 
please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Don't forget you totally make my day if you take time to leave a comment down below. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.